Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be testing some survival stuff. It's a fire striker from Badger Outdoor. I think it was about five pound, about six and a half dollars I think. So let's test it and see what you'd like to have with you if you're stuck in the middle of nowhere. It's okay saying you have a lighter but we know lighters have got the problems, the little thing pings off. If they get wet they're screwed. So let's see how good this cheap thing is and if we can actually light a fire with it. Later on I'll show you some tricks I learned years ago of how to start a fire especially if it's going to be wet. So let's get on with it. Right. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Actually, first, let's just try a lighter. I went and found the driest grass I could earlier. I'm starting it on here so it's easier to pot out. Oh no, here's the wind. Oh, right, I'm going for it. Sack it, I don't care. All you are watching, gonna make an idiot out of myself now. Let's just arrange this. Do a bit of crisscross action. Crisscross action. That's what I do. Come on, light. This grass is not 100% dry, obviously, but it's just me, I'm rubbish. Come on, right. Yes, come on baby. Right, got a little piece. Got a little piece. Go. Right, now obviously that grass isn't as wet as I thought it uh, isn't as dry as I thought it was. Right. Try and find some drier grass. Let's try this fire starter. I know what you're saying, not going to work either, but you never know. Miracles happen. Right, what's the score with this? Just like this, is it? That's crap. Right guys, I think the idea is to get some of this magnesium off. And then light it. No, no, right. Here comes the knife. I think a knife's gonna be better than this stupid thing here. Right. 
guys, I don't think this grass is dry. This is going to be, here's one I prepared earlier. Right, maybe if I scrape a bit of that onto the grass. So, here's a little trick I learned years ago. This, guys, is exactly what it looks like, a ladies product, a tampon. So, the trick is, put it in my pocket, don't litter the place. Get your knife, scuff this bad boy up, just like that. Keep going and going. Takes a bit. Round and round. And so it's really fluffy. And when you've got a nice part like that, really fluffy, actually sometimes you can open them up. Ugh. That goes through me. Right, so we're going to go back to the lighter. This time. It's windy though, as well, guys, today. Probably not the best time to do a video, but. That wind is horrendous. There you go guys, I don't know if you can see that, what a trick eh, and you can put them in your backpack in a nice little plastic bag, keep them dry, they're cheap, and then wherever you are you can always have a fire. I'm so glad that worked because it wasn't looking good. Yes, come on baby. Right guys, if you paid loads of care to that, that's obviously going. But I'm going to put it out in a minute. Should we see if the fire striker does the same? I'm guessing it will. And then I'll show you a little disadvantage with this. You probably know, but... Right. Let's try and put this out. I've got a little pan here, but look, that's going. I could easily light that thing. So, another tampon. It's up to you what size you get. Same again. The fluffier you make it, obviously the easier it is it's going to start. As long as you keep these things dry, then they're amazing. And obviously guys, these aren't just good for starting fires. If you're out in the middle of nowhere and you cut yourself, you know, you want to clean that up as quickly as possible with infection and stuff. They're amazing for obvious reasons. They soak up the blood. They're going to put a clot in there quickly so you're not going to bleed out, hopefully, and keep it clean with a bandage on top. a little pocket in there for that magnesium. Right, the wind is picking up guys. We've got to try our best to create a little pocket. 
Now you can see the magnesium when it's new it has this coating on there. Try and scrape it off slowly. Okay, when you've got a nice little amount in there. It's not even sparking, what's going on? And there you go. Voila. I'm so glad that worked as well. So guys, the answer, tampons. Keep them in your backpack, life-saving tool. Now, while this is getting out of control, I want to show you a disadvantage. The pond, one lighter, one fire striker. The lighter, just water spraying out all over the camera. Not working. Fire striker. Let's try this thing that comes with it, it's pretty useless, but nothing. <laughs> so yeah, trust me guys, if I dry this on my pants it will spark. There you go. Sparking for fun, I don't know if you can see. Oh, there you go. That's what the tests are all about. I don't know if that was actually glued in, but. Ah, I can push that back in, that's no problem. So guys, lighter versus fire striker. Lighters are quick. They're just amazing as long as they work. They get wet, take you hours for the flint to dry out. The flint can pop out, the springy thing can pop out, and then you might as well just throw it away. Fire strikers, you can get them wet, dry them on your pants, like I showed you, they work. They're just as quick when you get to know how to use them. Fire striker all day long. And don't forget the lady products. <laughs> Until next time, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the little bell, ding, ding. Thanks for watching. Peace.